Today on Through the Ages, we're looking at another weapon family that's been present in the franchise for a while, one that I think has a little bit of a cult following. Not the most popular of rifles, but tends to be the choice of someone going for precision and power, more than the player who likes to spray and pray. Today, we're looking at the FN Scar family, a group of weapons developed by Belgian weapons manufacturer FN Herstel. The Scar family has appeared in at least one of its forms in Battlefield 2, Battlefield Bad Company, Bad Company 2, Play for Free, Battlefield 3, 4 and Hardline. We'll be starting with Bad Company 2 today and working our way through to Battlefield 4. The Scar L is the weapon that we see in Bad Company 2, you can see that in the background, sitting in the engineer class as a compact carbine with an integrated silencer, as with all other weapons in the class. Its maximum of 20 damage and low recoil statistics means it can be very useful when going for longer range kills and is basically the only weapon worth using in the engineer class if you're planning to go for kills beyond close range. It's held back slightly by its low rate of fire, just 600 rounds a minute here, meaning its close quarters effectiveness is somewhat lost despite its high damage. It also has quite a long reload time of 3.3 seconds, which again in close quarters could make things a little bit difficult if you were to come across an enemy. As a companion in the engineer role though, it works really well. Firing off RPGs to take down vehicles, sometimes players will jump out and attempt to make a run for it before their vehicle explodes. If that vehicle is off in the distance, the low recoil and low rate of fire will help you keep your sights on target and will likely help you land the kill. The Scar L stands alone here in Bad Company 2 as the only Scar weapon and will need to move to Battlefield 3 to have a look at its brother, the Scar H. Here in Battlefield 3, with the introduction of the Scar H, the Scar L lifts up out of the Engineer class and goes into the Assault class, and we'll talk about that in a minute, and the Scar H sits in the Engineer class this time. The Scar H is a heavy hitting battle rifle designed and balanced to be more of a long range option than all of the other carbines that are in the class, dealing a max damage of 30 at close range and 20 at 50 meters. This gives the Scar H a big advantage in those longer range gunfights where most of the other carbines would fall short of what you really wanted them to do. Now this makes the weapon a great choice for those larger conquest maps where players might be running away in the distance. One area you do have to look out for though is the recoil and on the Scar H that pulls upwards at 0.5 which is rather a large number in comparison to some of the other carbines that you could pick instead, but that's the trade-off that you have to take if you want the increased stopping power that the Scar H can offer. A 600 round rate of fire and only 20 rounds in a magazine with one in the chamber can sometimes leave you wanting more, but slow, steady, accurate fire with this weapon at long range is where the reward lies. Moving to the Scar L now, and this weapon, although featuring as a base game weapon in Bad Company 2, didn't make an appearance in Battlefield 3 till the Close Quarters expansion, and was unlockable through an assignment called Set Us Up The Bomb. To complete that assignment, you needed first to have completed the Shepherd assignment, and then gain 20 underslung grenade launcher kills and 15 hand grenade kills. Now, the Scar L is a little bit strange and very much different to the other assault rifles in Battlefield 3. First of all, it fires ridiculously slowly at just 620 rounds a minute, but features a fast bullet velocity of 600 meters a second. So ideally, what you want to do is pick off long range targets. But that's where the recoil comes in and makes it even easier for you. It's very flat and unwavering pulling vertically just 0.2 and 0.225 to the left and the right. So that means it's very easy to predict and control, so those medium to long range gunfights shouldn't be a problem for you at all. Now on top of that, and to top off all of the strangeness of this weapon, for some reason, 
you can equip a 12 times optic to it. No other assault rifle allows you to do that, and I can't seem to find a proper reason for it either. Of the two weapons here in Battlefield 3, I'd have to say the Scar-H is more memorable because of its higher damage model and the fact that it's in the Engineer class and it's not an assault rifle. In the Engineer class, you don't tend to have weapons that are more powerful than the rest of the group. They tend to be very well balanced. And the Scar-H is very well balanced. It's just a little bit different than what you might expect to be there. Moving over to Battlefield 4 now, and we return to simpler times where the Scar family is reduced back to just one version, the Scar H, but we do see the introduction of the DMR variant, which is the Scar H SV. This semi automatic rifle is extremely similar to the Mark 11, but with a slightly different recoil pattern. I'm not going to focus on it much here because I'd much rather talk about the standard Scar H. Here in Battlefield 4, the Scar H takes over the G3A3's role that it played in Battlefield 3, and that's offering a middle ground between the assault rifles and the DMRs. Featuring a max damage of 33, the weapon does hit very hard, but that power, as it always seems to be, comes at the expense of Rate of Fire, which sits at just 620 rounds a minute. Now that isn't a particularly bad thing, as picking off targets at longer ranges with a low rate of fire, that means less wasted bullets. And just as well that's the case, because the Scar H also only comes with 20 rounds in a magazine, so it's likely to run out of ammunition much quicker than most other assault rifles. It'll be beaten in close quarters by a lot of other faster firing weapons like the FAMAS and the AEK, despite it having a harder hitting round in the chamber, unless the holder is alert and quick to react to the situation. Overall, the Scar H provides that heavy platform for someone who likes to engage in longer range gunfights. It works especially well on Rush, where the lines of sight do tend to be a lot longer. The Scar family in the Battlefield franchise hasn't quite caught on as ubiquitously as others like the Kalashnikovs or the Barrett rifles, but it's still a family I think many people now expect to see in modern Battlefield titles. Its signature hard-hitting power seems to satisfy a fairly large section of players, and for many it's seen as the replacement to the G3 battle rifle. Thanks very much for watching, make sure you leave your suggestions down below for the next weapon that you want to see on Through the Ages, but until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.